gets into the end zone with him. He was pushed back, but he crossed the plane. Well, Jim, the thing that impresses you is how many times on that particular run right there, as you see, that the Holmes offensive linemen were actually locked on to the defensive linemen. They were getting no separation. They, and, you know, this keeps them from using their quickness, getting back on the tackle or in pursuit. Uh, Holmes offensive line just did a great job. So the Huskies have to be feeling a little bit better about their chances so far as they put together their first sustained drive of the afternoon and get on the scoreboard for the first time as they trail by 7, 14 to 7. You get a look at the Holmes kicker, Sean McKenna, getting ready to boot it away in deep receiving for the Rockets. Byron Saunders, number 40, joined back by Chris Samuels, 22. McKenna kicks it away. It'll be a little bit short. It will come to Saunders on the bounce at the two-yard line. And look out. He's got some running room. He may go. time at this beautiful, beautiful run back by Byron Saunders. Tremendous job, 98 yards in all. John, right off the bat, you see, he misjudged the ball a little bit. And how many times, you always see this happen. It distorts everybody a little bit, far as their timing. Get a great block coming up right here. Saunders just does an excellent job of running. And he outruns Kerry Cash all the way to the end zone. And a good move here as he starts to tire out. He cuts back across to the wide side of the field, and Kerry Cash cannot catch up with him. Jesus Escobedo, point after is good. And right lightning, 5-10 to play in the second quarter. Judson comes right back with a 98-yard kickoff return by Byron Saunders. And the Rockets lead the Huskies 21-7. to 